You doing good? How are you? Good. How's uh, the, I guess we're at the midpoint of spring now. How have you felt that uh, you I think I did all right. There's definitely a lot of things I could work on. Just watching film after practice every day, just focus on the little things. Is your comfort level gone way up, this being kind of the second time around? Yeah, definitely. I mean, putting in this new offense, it kind of just makes you really know the offense. So like if Coach Fish kind of messed up the play, you need to know what the running back has to do and everything, so. What have you thought about working with Coach Fish? I know. Um, he, I, I feel like we saw him kind of get on you a little bit earlier about not making a call quite right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's kind of always on me, but I think it's better for me just so he's hard on me. So then, like, I need to do what I need to do to perform. So. What stands out to you that's unique, and what do you think will help about this uh, offense that Coach Fish has? I think from Coach Fish coming from a lot of different um, teams and in the NFL. So some of the terminology or a lot of the terminology and kind of the concepts and the plays definitely help out if you want to like go to the next level and it kind of gives you a sense of it. What have you thought about kind of that? Uh, you guys are still looking for that backup quarterback role. You're competing with Matt yeah. there. What have you thought about uh, kind of the way you guys are competing? Um, I think we just come out and compete every day. Uh, that's pretty much, yeah. As a teammate, what stands out to you about the way uh, Matt kind of goes goes about practice every day? He just has a great mentality coming out of practice, and he always wants to get better and just help his team better, and that's kind of what I want to do too. Have you noticed any difference in Josh this year? Oh, uh, yeah, he's a lot healthier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's throwing the ball really good, too. He's like his demeanor or his, uh, the way he's carried himself or like determination or anything? I mean, I think he's always wanted to win and just want to be the best he can be, so I think he's been doing that. Was it difficult for you to to maybe sit back and redshirt last year with the offense going through some of the struggles that it went through? Um, I want to say it was difficult. I think it was just a learning experience kind of getting used to the system and how every like how the games are and everything right. but I, th I think I'm glad that I, I registered it and now you have to get new used to a new system with a new offensive coordinator what, what are some of the challenges that you face after coming off a redshirt year um I wouldn't say there's many challenges just except the fact that um, the plays are way longer than they were last year but I mean I like the offense a lot so far. Last year, you kind of stepped into the backup quarterback role when Mike was elevated mm -hmm. to the starting. Were you, were, what was kind of the contingency plan if Mike had to go out for a, a long period of time? In, oh, they would put in a game. In a long like, period of time, they, they said they were going to put me in. Yeah. yeah. So, what was the backup plan if it was like he turned an ankle and he needed to get looked at for like one play? What was uh, your... We put in Crenshaw, so that was oh. when Mossy Johnson, who got quarterback, and kind of run the Wildcat. Okay. So that was the emergency plan. Wait, you guys okay. call that Crenshaw, the, yeah. the package? Uh-huh. <laughs>